welcome back dear friends inside this lecture we are going to discuss how we can download and install the core editor that we are going to use inside this course so first of all i'm just going to open notepad so there are just some core editors names like uh, for example you can just say here is sublime text this number one on number second we have vs court on number third we have something like uh, atom on number four we have notepad plus plus on number five we have bracket so these are the five uh, famous or you can say popular editor that we can work on them if you are working on html on css or any other uh, programming languages or any scripting languages or markup language no matter uh, if you are using windows so you can just use sublime text you can just use visual uh, code you can use atom uh, you can just use atom to work on mac or windows on both of them so the same uh, notepad plus plus also you can just use this for mac or windows uh, but inside this course we are going to use the fifth one this is called bracket because we can just use this on window plus mac both of them so this is the beauty of this uh, the beauty of uh, this correlator so now we are going to just download and install this editor that is called bracket so very nice go to your uh, correlator and simply type bracket editor and enter so you can see this uh, website brackets.io is the main website to download this editor. click on the link and this is the latest version download bracket 1.12 i think i have already downloaded this but again i'm just going to click on this to just download this core editor so you can see in the bottom left corner the download process is started and the version of this is 1.12 I'm just going to cancel this because I have already downloaded this core editor. So go to just uh, to the download folder. Inside download folder, I have just bracket 1.12 version. You can see it is here. So after the downloading, you can just double click to install this core editor. So select the destination by default it will select the c drive inside it will just create a folder by name of bracket so if you want to just change the location you can click on this change button so just click next again install and just the admin password and yes So it will just take a short time. So this is the way that you can download and install the bracket editor on your Mac on your Windows. So no matter uh, which operating system you are using, this is the way of downloading and installing this editor. and updating components registration so this is the installation process we all know but uh, let me tell you something very important about this course inside this course you will learn a css just like a professional it means a to z everything you need to learn inside a css you can find inside this course uh, because i will try my best to 
create this course the most and very complete course of CSS so I will try to put everything that you need to learn inside CSS I'll try to put there inside this course so this just uh, inside this video we will just learn how we can download and install but from the next class we are going to start coding the CSS we are going to we are going to start learning the CSS from the next class so break it was successfully installed click finish to exit so it means you have successfully downloaded and installed the break it code editor. so that is wonderful you can see and after the right clicking you can see the option here open as a break it project so we are not going to open this but we are going to create a new folder here on the desktop it's called css3 project inside this we are going to save all the resources for this course so now you can just press the windows key and simply right bracket and open this and this is the code editor that we have installed so just press ok no meter so this is the default page that the bracket they have just created index.html you can see it's here getting started you can just see the preview here you can see this icon here on the right top corner uh, and here is written a live preview just click on this to see the preview of this page and you can see here is written getting started the title and here is another heading that they have given they have just this the example that they have just created here but from here you can see in the drop down here is written getting started you can just click here to select your folder open folder we are going to on the desktop and we have a folder here this is called CSS project folder so you can just select folder CSS project folder now go to file menu and create a new file insert the basic structure of HTML doc type HTML and control plus s to save or just go to file menu and click to save and this is the shortcut for this and if you are using Mac you can use command plus s to save this inside the same folder by giving the name index.html for right now so a very easy html take start and close then we have the head tag inside the head tag we have the title tag first web page is the title then we have the body tag and you can just use control plus s or command plus s to save now you can just see the preview from here click here or just go to the folder and you can just double click to open this inside a browser now you can see here is written first web page it means the title that you have inserted here first web page or you can say first project save and press f5 or you can just uh, launch this again once again now this time we have here first web project that we have written here first web project so let me just write something in the body hi and welcome to my css course it's just a welcome message for you all you can just save this and press f5 so you can see here is written hi and welcome to my css course it means that it is working perfectly so uh, this video is just going to be very lengthy I'm going to end this video here but you must download and install this core editor this is called break it core editor that I have already discussed about this 
but uh, if you already using any other correlator so no meter you can just use that correlator but for coding purpose you can just follow the same way that we are doing so inside next class we will come back and we will discuss about css syntax thank you have a nice time